Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Contributing Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Earlier this year, IMSI Design, the same company that made TurboCAD, launched a 2D drafting and annotation program called DoubleCAD XT. The software is available in a professional version, but the good news here is, there is also a free version. And that version is not just for learning or for personal use, you can actually use it for production work. Now, DoubleCAD XT is described to us as an AutoCAD LT workalike. So, as you can guess, DoubleCAD XT gives you most, if not all, the normal 2D drafting and annotation functions you'd expect from a program like that. In this video clip, I'd like to share with you some of the subtle and not so subtle differences I discovered between DoubleCAD XT and AutoCAD LT 2010. DoubleCAD XT comes in the classic AutoCAD user interface. On the other hand, the latest version of AutoCAD LT version 2010 comes in what's called the ribbon bar interface, similar to what you would find in Microsoft Office 2007 applications. What I like about AutoCAD LT's user interface is the automatic image and text tips about each menu item or button that pops up whenever you hover your mouse over that item. On the other hand, I happen to think DoubleCAD XT's handle-based approach to moving, scaling, and stretching very intuitive. If you're used to working in vector drawing programs like Adobe Illustrator, you'd probably feel more at home with this approach. One of the things you get with AutoCAD LT is the PDF underlay, which lets you attach a PDF drawing and use it like a tracing paper to develop your sketch. Here's something else that's new in AutoCAD LT 2010. It's the dynamic block function. You need to embed two elements to create a dynamic block. A parameter, in this case, it's a rotation angle, and an action, in this case, a rotate action. What it does is give you a block that, after you insert, you can manipulate using the little handle. Here, I've used this function to create a rotating bracket. This is helpful if you routinely insert the same object but in different length or at a different angle, for instance. Inserting block might be a bit of a misnomer for DoubleCAD XT because here you don't insert, you just drag and drop it into the drawing and you use the same handle bar system to resize, rotate, stretch, and move it. AutoCAD LT has a pretty robust table creation system, along with the option to link your table cell data to external Excel files. That way, you can edit the table right here in AutoCAD LT and make that information directly get updated in your Excel file, or you can have it done the other way around as well. DoubleCAD XT lets you create tables too, but in my view the editing is a bit more involved than it ought to be. You create the table in one place, then go to Modify to adjust the cells, then go to Selection Info tab in order to populate it with numbers and text. The usual way that you are accustomed to doing in Excel, for instance, of clicking directly into the cell and typing in it doesn't work here. Let's see how DoubleCAD XT handles dimensions and multiple units. Here, through its properties window, you can set one side in inches and another in millimeters. You can also turn on the alternate dimensions to show two types of units side by side. AutoCAD LT lets you do the same thing too, but in what I think is a slightly less straightforward way. You do this by going into the Dimension tab the Dimension Style Manager and picking the Modify dialog.
AutoCAD LT system gives you a way to pick an anchoring point before you rotate or move something. In DoubleCAD XT's handle-based system, you can edit the default reference point, which is usually the absolute center of your object, to somewhere else. Now this gives you the same precision control for object manipulation. Coming to Hatch and Color Fills, DoubleCAD XT lets you create a transparent fill, something I didn't find in AutoCAD LT 2010. You have to remember that AutoCAD LT has been around for some time, so you're likely to find more training materials from Autodesk and from third parties both online and offline in print and book forms. What DoubleCAD XT has going for, among other things, is the price. It's free. It's pretty difficult to beat that. While a more detailed review of the two products will be published in an upcoming issue of Desktop Engineering Magazine, so please look for it. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine.